Do you always start with the white side, Joey? I always you start with the white side. Does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just my preference. Gotcha. Uh, white side has yeah, a lot thinner than the okay. brown side. It's just kind of the way I've always done things. I'm not getting my some guys have to fish. I like Well, there you go, folks. That's the way you fillet a halibut. Howdy, folks. Kel Kellogg here. Today, I'm coming to you to answer a viewer question from a fellow named Ron Tomlinson. He is also a longtime fish sniffer um, subscriber and reader. He reads all my stuff. And I've actually fished with Ron out on the bay before. We've done some halibut and striper trips. And uh, remember one time we went way out to Fanny Shoals and uh, Ron nailed a couple ink cod over 20 pounds. But anyway, he reached out to me and he says, hey, Cal, you know what? I know you keep a lot of fish, you eat a lot of fish. Why don't you talk a little bit about the kind of knives you use for cleaning and filleting fish? And also, how do you keep those knives sharp? And uh, all right, Ron, here we go. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy here. I got a couple, couple knives that I use all the time. If I'm dealing with big fish, like a salmon or a big striper, this is my big, I, I believe this is a nine and a half inch. It is a huge Kershaw fillet knife. I've had this thing for years. It's kind of cool. This is one giving these away at the booth years ago. It has a fish sniffer logo on there. Anyway, big old Kershaw right here. I use that knife <clears throat> reasonably often when I have big fish, but more often than, th than not, I'm using one of these folding knives. And these seem to have gone out of style, but I absolutely love them. In this case, and several different companies make them. This is a Kershaw, I think it's a, seven inch blade, it's just a folding, simple folding <clears throat> fillet knife. And this is a knife I use probably 80% of the time. It's very packable. I actually have, I did a count this morning. I have three of these. I have one in my truck, one in the garage, one in the kitchen, actually I have four. One in the truck, one in the garage, one in the kitchen, and one in my tackle box. Um, I use these things for cutting bait, filleting shad, cleaning fish. They're just an all around great knife. They store really easy. They don't require a special scabbard or anything because they fold up. But to click it open, you got a nice sharp blade there. And uh, this too, this is another uh, Fish Niffer exclusive Kershaw. We don't offer these anymore, but we gave these away for years at the Sacramento ISE show in different places. So I grabbed several for myself and I'm still using them. I like Kershaw products. Why? I don't know. They're, they're medium priced. They, uh, they're, they're quality. They got a lifetime guarantee. If you break this thing and send it back to them, they'll send you a new one or something comparable. Um, but they just always perform for me. They're easy to sharpen. They keep an edge pretty well. And that's always kind of a, you know, a balancing act. If you have a knife that keeps an edge for a long time, that means you're dealing with really hard steel. That means when it comes time, and every knife needs to be sharpened, when it comes time to sharpen that knife, it's gonna be harder to sharpen. Conversely, a soft steel blade well, it gets sharp really easy, but it also loses its edge really fast. So it's, it's kind of a balancing act. So I believe this is a, uh, what is this? I think these are, these are stainless steel blades, pretty standard stuff. Um, I don't think they're real fancy steel. They're fairly durable, but they are also are easy to sharpen. And in terms of sharpening, you know, I've used everything. I can sharpen on a stone. The old timers taught me how to do that. I can use a leather strap. I can even sharpen this on a cardboard box if I wanted to. I've used the Hunter Honer. Great product, they work great. But in recent years, I've really come to rely on, and I, I got no, no dogs in this fight. I don't know these guys. They've never sent me anything for free. I wish they would. But uh, these Lansky sharpeners are just, they are cool. They're not the greatest sharpener in the world. You're not gonna get the greatest edge ever. But uh, let me just kind of walk you through what they got in here. This is, it's a metal body, it's pretty hard. Up here, you've got like this ceramic, I don't know what you'd call it, kind of a ceramic blade. You could sharpen fish hooks on that. You can use it to quick sharpen your knife, stuff like that. That's just handy. Here's the main sharpening part. 
if, you're, if your blade's really bad, you've got a carbide 20 degree angle notch there. You can draw that through there. That's only to be used if your blade is really, really dull. Right in front of that, you have a 20 degree angle pair of ceramic rods. That's where I do most of my sharpening, right through there. Give that knife five or six strokes. One of the keys to having a sharp knife is not letting it get super dull. When the first sign you feel it's starting to get dull, whip out your sharpener, give it six, eight, 10 strokes through there. And then if you really wanna take it to the next level, wet it and do a couple more strokes through there. Sometimes these ceramic blades will kind of get fouled up a little bit with uh, you know, the, the little bits of steel that come off the blade. Just go in your sink, old toothbrush, get some baking soda on there and just scrub those. They're never gonna get clean, but that will kind of just really rejuvenate that ceramic material and it'll start working really well again. And down here, this thing is, is handy for a lot of different things. They've got a diamond encrusted metal rod right there. Now, you can use that for sharpening for sure. You can use it for sharpening fish hooks. It's just a nice tool to have. It's a little pokey, punchy thing. And uh, you know, you, I don't know what you use it for. I've used it a bunch of different times for a bunch of different things. If you wanna get a little piece out of something or something, it's just a handy tool to have. It's like a, it's like a three inch long metal toothpick affair sort of. And you can sharpen on it, but it's just, it's just a handy little gizmo to have. And it's really pointy on the end. So. I like that. So I've got a couple of these things. I carry these when I'm hunting. I always have them on me when I'm fishing. It's got a hole for a lanyard. Um, I haven't managed to lose one yet. I'll probably lose this one now that I talked about it. But that's how I do 90% of my knife sharpening. Whether it's a hunting knife, my wife's kitchen knives, those are bad. I have to use those in, uh, I have to use the carbide thing because I don't know what she cuts with them. Rocks? chicken bones I don't know but anyway that's where that carbide that carbide notch gets most of its use on my wife's kitchen knives but I use the ceramic notch a ton on my knives and uh, it's just a great product I think that's 14 15 bucks a lot of value there it'll last forever um, but anyway getting back to the knives big fish I have the big giant fixed blade monster Kershaw. I like that knife. I like the plastic sheath, nothing fancy there. Um, it doesn't smell like fish, it's plastic. You can rinse it out, scrub it out, put the whole unit, the whole thing, run it through the dishwasher. You're probably not supposed to do that. It, it hasn't hurt it at all. It's got a nice comfortable rubber handle, handle on there. So that's just a nice knife for big fish. And then once again, if I'm out on a lake, you know, or even in a delta, and I'm catching medium to small size fish, I really like this folder. It's just really nice. It's really sharp. The blade is really thin. I can fillet those shad with it. You know, if I'm striper fishing, I can uh, fillet fish with it, clean those trout with it. And again, no sheath storage, no problem. Just stick it away and uh, you're ready to roll. It has this, uh, this bloodline scraper too, which I never use, but it is kind of cool, it's on there. I have used this thing, here's a quick tip for you. If, uh, if you're in a pinch and you need a screwdriver, that will turn some screws, even the, uh, both the Phillips and the, uh, the other. So anyway, that's kind of handy for that. But by and large, don't use that too much, but I do use the knife a great deal. So anyhow, that's about it. That's what I'm thinking, Ron, that's what I use. I've been getting by with those for, for years. I am not a knife expert. I am not a knife sharpening expert, but uh, you know me, I harvest a lot of game. I harvest a lot of fish and uh, I rely on these knives. This is also a Cracker Jack deer boning knife in the garage. You know, I process all my own deer meat. This thing does a fantastic job and it's easy to sharpen. So anyway, that's about the size of that. I want to thank you folks for watching the FHS YouTube channel. Without you guys, there wouldn't be a channel. If you haven't had a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will catch you next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm signing off. I'm going to go run around in my yard here and do some different stuff. I need to do some push-ups and stuff. But uh, anyhow, I'll catch you next time. This is Kel Kellogg and I'm signing off.